everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today we're going to take a look at a beautiful 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS, big block 396 with a 4 speed 12 bolt rear end, good looking car guys. Uh, bought this in a uh, show down in Tennessee. It is a recent frame up restoration. This is your original car, color combination, Garnet Red with the black vinyl interior. Uh, very nice set of Riddler wheels, new rubber all the way around it. Really just a good looking big block four speed Camaro, guys. Good solid straight uh, Tennessee body. I haven't driven it a ton, but I have put some miles on it. It really runs out good, shifts good. Uh, just a fresh car. As you walk around it and look at the car, you'll see it's it, it's just it's a car that probably does not have very many miles on it. The guy I bought it from did not know the exact miles, but he said probably less than 2,500. All new chrome and stainless. Front and rear spoilers, got the cowl hood on it. car. Nice and straight down the side. It's got a good sound to it too. Healthy big block. Couple little things we got left to do to it. Um, and I want that we got to check the wipers. I know the wipers were working when we bought it, and then I just clicked them on in here a second ago, and they weren't. So I don't know if we got a wire that's bad or the actual wiper motor's gone bad. This car's got good eyes, man. Sits good. Like I say, it sounds real good when we fire it up. I think you'll like the way this thing rumbles. Disc brakes. Uh, it's not a matching numbers car. It's a mid-60s 396 uh, engine. It's got a Holley 4 barrel. Again, Muncie 4 speed. Um, it's got an Edelbrock Performer aluminum intake on it. So the Headman headers. Power steering, manual disc brakes, and really detailed underneath underneath the hood. Really nicely, guys. Aluminum uh, radiator. They still use the uh, factory shroud. HEI uh, distributor in it. This car looks good, man. door rubbers, window fuzzies, I mean the door handles. There's definitely been some money spent on this car. It's got all new interior, new carpet, new sill plates.
bucket seats. It's got the Hearst shifter, sports steering wheel. Showing 69,000, that's supposed to be the original miles on it. Factory dash, it's got the original AM radio, it's got a set of aftermarket gauges underneath the dash there. Uh, it's got all Flowmaster dual exhaust, it is a 12 volt, 355 limited slip rear end. Like I say, as you walk around this car, I mean, all the little edges are just really nice. That's the first thing that uh, I noticed on the car, man. Everywhere you look, it's nice. They did put new quarters on it. Try to pull this up. They've done a nice job. They've spackle painted this trunk and then they've clear coated it, which is really nice. Oh, brake light switch. We got to get a brake light switch. Remind me about that. The brake light switch broke on us. New fuel tank, and see that 12 volt, the new dual exhaust. And I've got a bunch of new stuff coming, guys. I probably have another 20 cars. And I know I and I apologize guys. I know I know some guys have reached out to us and not real happy because a lot of cars got sold before they're hitting the web, but I do the best I can, man. We, we have a small group of guys. I do all my own advertising. I don't try to rush through it, guys, when I end up making mistakes like I did in a couple of videos here before. And uh, we'll try to get them on just as soon as they come in. I got about 10 cars here right now that I need to get done. So I have Jay fired up. Pump gas, 396. Runs good, nothing real radical, just maybe a little cam to it. Nothing crazy. I know the uh, parking brake works on it. I drove this a little bit down in Tennessee. I know this is a good car. It hits the road good. Fuel gauge works. Uh, the gauge, the temperature gauge, and your oil pressure gauge work down here. The uh, voltmeter is still being run off the dash lights. I don't think works. Blower motor comes on. I know it does. Squeaks a little bit. I noticed that. Uh, wiper motor. We got to check. Like I say, I know we turned them on when we bought it. But now they're not wanting to work. So I don't know if we've had a wire come loose or the actual wiper motor is going bad. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com or you're always welcome. Pick up the phone. Give us a call. 248-620-3355. That's a good looking car right there, man. Have a great day, guys.